we're going to be making a hitch pin loop. I have this tool, but unfortunately I don't know where I got it and I don't know who made it, but um, I could show people how to make one out of a wooden dowel and I've made some for people out of a wooden dowel. But with this tool, the part with the screw, you want up and you thread it onto your wire. So now this tool is on the wire. Then with your vice grips, probably about three inches from the end. I need to adjust my vice grips to get a really tight grip on this wire. The wire will be right at the edge of the vice grips. It's a little too tight. I'm just going vice grips. There, I've got a good grip. I'm going to make a loop that's big enough to fit over the hitch pin. All right, so here goes the loop. A little pressure with the thumb. I'm adjusting the pressure to come up with a loop. I think that looks pretty good. And you want the tail that's in the vice grips to be at a right angle with the wire. Now, I'm releasing the vice grips. And I'm going to re-grasp this loop. I'm now grabbing the loop with the vice grips. Then I bring this tool up the wire. And I'm now going to use that screw to wrap the tail around the wire. And I'm going to give it at least three wraps. So there's one, two, three. And then I'm going to have my tail go the opposite direction of the loop. I'm going to release the vice grips. I'm going to bring this, bring, bring this back. You can see the loop going that way and the tail going towards me. Now, I'm going to take my cutter and trim off the excess. So I'm going to put the cutter as close to the wire as possible and cut that off because you want a tail that's three sixteenths to a quarter of an inch long. So this piece, then I'm going to thread the tail under the V bar. Grab it with my hook. And when you place this loop on the hitch pin, the tail has to be flat against the plate. So the tail is now down against the plate and that's what's gonna keep it from unwinding. Then, now our next skill really is, is making the coil. So you would then, that's going to this pin. I've already backed the pin out an appropriate amount. I'll use my fingers as the gauge. Fingers are at the edge of the pin. Cutter is right up next to the fingers. I cut. And now this little tool comes off. And again, I made that loop look easy, but it's because I've had lots of practice. It's not as easy as it looks, but practice to get the skill. Then back to the coil. Wire just sticks through the end of the pin, barely. Pressure with my thumb, two and a half turns. One, two, half. Grab the becket with the vice grips. Put it on the pin. Becket goes in the hole. Make sure it goes in easily. Use your lifter. Level. You 
give it about a half a turn. Push the Becca in all the way. And take a look at spacing. Tighten it up some more. Revisit spacing. Tighten it up. With a good amount of tension now, you're going to need a, preferably a piece of brass. And you're gonna go to these little windings and watch them compress. They have to be as compressed as possible towards the hitch pin. Then you're gonna use the same little brass to tap downwards to make sure that your loop is as close to the plate and touching the plate. Same as before, a little tap, very gentle to make sure your string is in good contact with the bridge. Um, done.